Hello Internet, it's Joe Hay here. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to an AI powered tool that allows you to upscale the resolution of your images. This means you will be able to make your pictures more detailed and basically better quality. And uh, let's take a look an example of what kind of results you can get with this software. So here I have an original image. Uh, this is a very small image, about 600 pixels wide. And this image is big. I have enlarged it with the help of this AI tool. Uh, this image's resolution seems to be 5400 pixels, so quite a few times bigger than this original image. If we zoom in closer to the original image, you can see that this image has become quite pixelated. The quality of the image is very bad when zoomed in. But if we zoom in closer to the scaled image, we can see that we can zoom in very close and this isn't even pixelated at all. So the quality of the image is very good even this close. Let's look at yet another example. Here I have a ninja cat and here is the original image on the left. Here on the right I have the scaled image. If we zoom in closer to the original image, we can see the quality of the image is again very bad when zoomed in. And if we zoom into the enlarged image, we can zoom in very very close before the quality of the image starts to get bad. Well, what is this software? Uh, this is a free software called Upscale, an AI based image upscaler. And it's the best AI based image upscaler that I have at least used. And again, it's free. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this program. However, uh, it really isn't any difficult to use this upscale. There are just a few buttons and few settings that you can play with. But the main thing in this video is that we are going to test this uh, upscale software. We are going to scale different images with this upscale tool. So if you want to download upscale and try it out, just type in Google download upscale and you will find it. It's among the very first links on Google. Before we continue, uh, remember to like this video if you learned something new and leave me a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. So let's get to it. Uh, I have some different images here and we are going to test these images with this upscale tool and let's see what kind of results we get. So let's throw in this bearded guy into upscale. Here on the left side is the settings menu and there are a couple of important things here. If you scroll down a bit, you can choose to make PNG images or JPG images. And then you can choose the size of the image. So if you want, you can choose that upscale will make the image twice as big or three times as big or four times as big as the original image. I have tested all of these and of course the bigger the image gets, the bigger the file size will be and of course higher resolution. But the longer it takes to scale the image. Okay, but anyways, we are talking about like max couple of minutes, like how long it takes to, to scale images with this upscale tool. Then there is this image compression setting and I have kept this setting always at 0% so it doesn't compress the image. Then you can choose where to save these images. Uh, the image that I have loaded here is quite small, 700 x 700 resolution pixels. Uh, if you zoom in, you can see that the image starts to pixelate. But let's see what kind of results we get with this upscale now. So let's press upscale. Doing the upscale magic. All right. Every time you make a new image, you get this line tool here with the original image on the left and the scaled image on the right. As you can see, it improved the image and it's definitely a sharper image. Okay, let's press one of the magic 
keys that I usually have on. It's called double upscale. And what it does, it's doubling the scaling. If you put the mouse on the question mark here, it says that we just run upscale twice. So uh, now the image has a much higher resolution. So let's press upscale again. And as you can see, the image has a much higher resolution. Uh, let's throw in another image. And let's see what kind of results we get with this basketball guy. The settings are the same, but let's try to change the model this time. Okay, let's press this, select model. And there are different AI models that you can choose from. Okay, and these models produce slightly different results. And let's test these out. So let's go with the Remakri model and press upscale. And now the image is ready. I opened the scaled image here. And if we zoom in, we can see that the image is not pixelated at all. And if we put the original image here, we can see that there is a big, big difference. Uh, let's try a different model. And this time we will choose this model. And let's press upscale. And now we have scaled the original image with a couple of different models. And if we put these images next to each other and zoom into the basket, let's see if there is a difference. And yes, there is a small difference. For example, if we look at the details on the background, this is a lot more blurred uh, or smushed compared to this one. There's a lot more details here as you can see. So we can see that there is a big difference with these models, uh, that the Remakri model has produced a lot more details compared to the real ASR gun model. So definitely keep this in mind when scaling images with the upscale tool. So let's continue. Uh, let's put an image of a real person into the upscale. Let's see. So if we zoom in, this image has a really bad quality again. And uh, let's keep the same settings in the upscale tool, real ASR gun and double upscale. Let's press this. And here is the final result of the scaled image. If we take a closer look here, this is definitely more uh, detailed, but it's very smooth, as you can see, compared to the original one. I think the fabric here looks okay, but I would like to see more details in the face. So let's change the model. Let's put the Remakri model back, which I think did a great job with the previous image we scaled. And yeah, here is the new version. And we can see that the Remakri model has slightly different final result. At least it tries to keep some details in the face. And it made some more details into the scarf also and so on. So again, we can get totally different results with different models. Let's try again. Let's use the ultra sharp model. Well, here is the result, the ultra sharp model version. But this time I'm asking you, what do you think about these images? What, what do you think is the best result so far, if you look at these? Or if there is any good, on your opinion. Uh, and if we open all of these uh, images here, next to each other, we can see the difference. And there is a clear difference in all of these images. Uh, this one is the softest and this one is very rough. Okay. And this one is kind of in the mid range, I think. Uh, in this image, I like the skin the most because it's kind of a detailed skin, but not so soft like this image is. So let's move on. I still have one more image and it's a cat image. <laughs> so let's try to scale it with few different models. Okay, uh, first let's use the real ASR gun model and press upscale and let's see the result. Um, I think it's pretty good scale. Yeah, really nice. Let's change the model. Let's scale it with 
the Remacri model and also with the Ultramix balanced model. And now we have the scaled versions of this image. Let's take a look at the eyes. Where are the best details? And now it looks like the Ultramix balanced model has pretty good details, for example, in the eye, I think. But if we look at these from far away, I think there are very small differences in overall in these pictures. First of all, I think this software uh, works great with these types of images, which are hand-drawn or like a digital art. I think the upscale works really great with these types of images. And then we have this image with the woman's face here. Uh, I have tried to upscale a lot of images uh, with people in the images, but they all have become kind of like a artificial look or digital look. So they don't usually end up looking like super uh, realistic. But this is just my experience, so comment down below if you have different experiences. And keep in mind that AI tools evolve rapidly and receive uh, frequent updates. So if we wait a month or two, we might see uh, significantly better results with, for example, this upscale software. And yeah, then we had this cat image and it ended up looking pretty good, I think. And I would definitely use this enlarged image uh, more than the original one. But yeah, overall, very nice. That's about it. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, remember to like this video and leave me a comment and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I'm Joe Hey, and I'll see you in the next video. So, skedam!